Hey everyone, I know what you're thinking. It's about time. <laughs> yeah, time for another video. Uh, today is just going to be a quick video about the quadcopter here. I've done a few changes to the quadcopter itself and on my FPV setup, so I figured I'd uh, give you guys a little look. So, let's get right to it. Alright, let me start with the quadcopter. Right away, well, you can see the props are black. Well, they're uh, carbon fiber, so uh, they've helped me out with a little bit longer battery time and helps with the extra weight of the gimbal and the camera. And as I move down, I change the landing gear. I have some uh, carbon fiber landing gear. They're from Hobby King. They're not made for the Phantom, so they're pretty much just, you know, DIY and stuff. And on here, I don't know if you guys remember, I had my on-screen display there. Well, now that's actually inside the Phantom completely, so that's gone. And, yeah, I got some uh, Immersion RC or Fat Shark uh, Cloverleaf antennas. So, uh, give me a little bit better range and the ones weren't that good. So anyway, that's it basically for the quadcopter. Nothing too much changed there. Right. Now for the radio. Right away, for the ones that have seen my other videos, if you haven't, go check it out. It's called My FPV Setup for My Phantom or something along those lines. I'll probably put it somewhere in the description. But anyway, uh, before what I was running the screen was this. But as you can see, there's plenty of glare. And there's no way to adjust the contrast or stuff like that. So I got that instead. It's a 7 inch screen. It's the RC800. It's a DVR and, well because the antenna's here, it's a video receiver as well. So, this little thing is obsolete for now. So same thing as the other one. It can record, uh, it can view, so it's pretty good. Although, the one cool thing is, I don't know if you guys remember the big battery I had for that little video receiver. Well guess what? Now that's powering the screen, so it kind of makes a little bit more sense. And again, another antenna. Speaking of antennas, I got a helical antenna as well. So that way I can get a little bit longer range on my video since the Phantom can go fairly far. But here's another fun part. This one I really enjoy. Got myself the Sky Zone FPV glasses. Again with the uh, Immersion uh, RC antenna. And the helical can go on there. And while I said I'd ordered a smaller battery for the smaller video receiver, well guess what? It fits perfectly and works perfectly for this. So I've been enjoying using these. It's pretty a uh, weird experience. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, basically the new setup. All right, so if you guys uh, have any questions about what I have, I'm no pro or expert on any of these. I know a little bit, you know, just basically what I've seen online. But feel free to ask me the questions. I'll try to answer you as much as I can. Uh, yeah, and hopefully I can uh, post out more videos with the quadcopter because uh, I'm going on a trip out east on the motorcycle. And if I can find room for it, I'm bringing it with me and hopefully I'll have some nice aerial shots there from out east. So anyway, uh, I think that's it for now. See you guys later.